his teammates don't like rookie Victor Wembanyama. That's what it sounds like. Oh, I'm just saying, like, it... is that oh, what you're Victor saying? Well, what's the himself... people are a high five. Maybe it's a French thing. Maybe French, the French people don't high five. What do you know about the? Well, okay. obviously, not everybody in the NBA and not everybody on the Spurs is going to like Victor Wembanyama. How, you know How do you know that? How do you know that? How do you know that? Because not everybody gets around. The world that nobody, people, everybody fucking likes him. Not everybody gets along with everybody. You can't. Nobody likes everybody. The I mean, nicest guy in the world isn't going to be Henry, liked by Henry. everybody Henry's in the planet. Henry's supposedly not a non-hater. Ask Henry. I get in arguments with this about with Henry. Henry supposedly doesn't hate anything. Henry loves everything. Henry's a non-hater, allegedly. And I call, I say bullshit. I, I know I, somebody who hates Victor Wembanyama. Hates him. I think that this team, like, is very friendly. They all fire up together. I see them all get hyped, like... Dude, they're all Jalen greening each other. They this all... wasn't even the. This wasn't even the. Ta this wasn't even in the take. This isn't even a take. This was just a comment that I said about nobody high fiving Victor Wembanyama after he, after they won the basketball game. My take and point is Victor Wembanyama is a really good basketball player, and you can tell even though you know he's only been in the league game for four games, but when he learns like more situational awareness because when he has the basketball, especially down in the paint, people are going to start to hover. And um, instead of forcing up a bad shot, you know, look for the, look for the pass, but you don't need to pass it to the first guy you see, you know, like Nikola Jokic, um, you're trying to get the basket. So like Vic, once Vic adjusts to the speed of the NBA, I think it's going to be very, very scary. Oh, yeah, dude. But, like, for right now, he's playing fine. I mean, I don't think he's, like, blowing anything away. In that same vein, Richie Miller was also talking about how he, like, fucked up a few screens in some, like, late-game execution on some plays they were trying to run, and that's, like, probably similar to what you're talking about where he just needs to, like, better execute in the offense, and, like, that will make his teammates happy. I think the yeah. other thing is for uh, Victor Wambanyama goes for the block too much. Like, bro, you don't need to block every shot. Just contest. Like, dude, I saw one where he looked like, let me put the microphone down. He looked like uh, SpongeBob, that guy. I think it was uh, Squidward from SpongeBob where he's like running like this. I don't have the room. He literally looked like he was doing this trying to block a shot the other day when he ran across the fucking thing. I was like, what are you doing? Just, just throw the arms up, bud. But yeah, no. Yeah, but then you go to like the KD final shot, and I, I mean, he should have double teamed them. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, obviously, you know, situational. It's definitely something that seems a bit situational. I, I think it's with him figuring it's, it out, with figuring it out, understanding the NBA and yeah, his defenses. Yeah. I think there's more to it. But I guess this is a great way to talk about the topic: Were the Spurs overhyped? No. Overhyped. I don't think they were hyped in, at all, actually. Um, they have a lot of really nice pieces. Like, Devin Vassell... You like, think so? Like, is, Devin Vassell's probably, no, no, like, I a good two. I know they have two. nice pieces, but you don't think they were overhyped? People were like, this team's going to make the playoffs. They're going to be a play-in They team. might make the playoffs. That's how good I think Victor Wembanyama is. And once okay, so Victor Wembanyama... That's part of the, of the problem. You think they're overhyped just because he's buying it. Yeah, he's buying in. Okay, let, let, let. I don't pay attention to the hype, so I guess maybe that's where the issue is here because Victor Wambiyama is so good that I, I mean he just has he just takes up so much on the court. Like everybody knows where Victor Wambiyama is, and once his shots start falling in, and once he acclimates to the league, but then especially once he starts to make his teammates better. I don't see why the Spurs can't win 35 games. Devin Vassell is really good. Keldon Johnson is really good. No, no. Trey Jones is really good. Zach Jones, Zach Collins is really good. I, I love Zach um, Jones. Zach Jones is my favorite Jeremy player. Jeremy Sohan off of the bench. I really like Sohan off the bench to close these games. If they're going to run Collins out there, like I love Sohan. I mean, I, I think they're a really quality team. I feel like and I noticed yesterday here out. Sorry. This is my final part of the rant. What I really noticed yesterday that they won the game, even though it was just Kevin Durant, like that showed me clearly the fourth quarter, the entire fourth quarter showed me that they are better than the Houston Rockets. Like they are right now. 
I mean, oh. I know we're four games in, but like already they're better than the Rockets. Is the barometric test like comparing teams against the Houston Rockets in your mind? <laughs> Is that how we compare teams? Now? No, I just think <laughs> it's I, I think it's a good indi- indicator of if you're shit like, or not. the difference between Victor Wembanyama and Amon Thompson. Like the difference between a true clear cut consensual or con- you get consensual uh, consensus. Con- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you're going with number one, that. Generational, generational number one. Like the, like this is why he went number one, and this is why people say that as opposed to Scoot, you know, Brandon and Amon uh, and Zara. I agree with that. I love Kelvin Johnson. And for that last sequence of the plays, I I put on the other game, and, you know, Henry's bitching at me for switching the games. And I told him, oh, let's switch back. It's 100, 400, 100. When I turn the game on, it's over. We watched, we watched the last minute, and that last minute's Yeah, why would you shut, shut up. put the Magic game on? Cut, it was a blowout, fuck you. actually. Suck my dick. blowout. Fuck you. And you're, fuck. this is a no. TNT can I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I fucking finish? So the the Suns basically choked this game away. Vic get, scores four out of the last six points. Then I believe it's Kel Johnson just rips it out of KD's hands like like a freaking man to get ch- candy from a child, and goes up dunks. Not even dunks. It was a teardrop layup. Win the game. I'm surprised. Did the Suns even have a timeout? I want to say. Frank Vogel's coaching at the end of the game or just the – I mean, it was a combination of, like, terribleness by the Suns. But, I mean, the Spurs, they never quit. I've loved Kelton Johnson. I think he's one of the player, one of the players that I think he's on the most fair contract ever. I think, what, four years, $80 million? Perfect. <laughs> so fair. It's so fair. It's so fair. <laughs> it's, like, so fair. I've never seen someone get paid and everyone's like – Seems about right. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like, no, it's like <laughs> nice work, everybody. Yeah, yeah, literally, no one complained. And then you got Devin, Devin the self. You, you got, got Zach Collins, like you said. Uh, Charles Bassey, someone you forgot. I really like Bassey. Really like Bassey. A little old school. A little old school. Well, they're all bench, honestly. No, yeah. I mean, I swear they haven't been playing Malachi Brown and Blake Wesley that much this year. And that's yeah, really early. I, uh, but they compared well, to last. Wesley didn't play much last year in general. I know. But yeah, Malachi, Malachi, especially at the end of the season, um, he was getting minutes. They, yeah, they he's like their, game. he's their like their eleventh man. Yeah, and I mean, Jenny like and a, a Doug nine. are nice. I feel like they're trying to run a nine man rotation. At most oh right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see Champagne at three. Yeah, he he's the tenth man and they're running nine. I saying. mean, that'll change as the. He'll see, have his opportunity. And how the season progresses, of course. Yeah. But Jackson, what's Devontae your... Graham as well. 